So here we have five 1080p displays hooked up to the Mac Pro on the dual ATI Radeon 5770s. All five displays are on a single monitor stand. It's a prototype from the Ergotech group. Each monitor is on its own articulating arm. Between the middle and the outside panels, you have about a 45 degree angle for a nice parabolic shape. You can see that each screen is being driven with an independent signal. There's no mirroring. On the left is TweetDeck. Next is Lime IRC client. Then the next two show Final Cut Express. And then on the far right is Steam. Then if we pan over, you can see here the sixth display is a Samsung LED HDTV running iTunes. So here we have six independent screens, independent signals from the pair of ATI Radeon HD 5770s running on an original Mac Pro 1.1. So if we open up the display's properties, we can see here the arrangement with the five panels in portrait and the HDTV. We can gather the windows. We can see six display property windows pull up with one being the HDTV. If I then come in and do about this Mac, you can see that it is a 2x2.66 gigahertz dual core Intel Xeon. If I then open the system profiler, you can see that it is a Mac Pro 1.1 dual core Intel Xeon 2.66 gigahertz. And then if we look at the graphics and displays, you'll see the two Radeon HD 5770s. Here we're looking at the inside of my original Mac Pro 1.1. There are two ATI Radeon 5770s installed. It's difficult to see. Each has a six pin PCI Express auxiliary power cable connected. Here on the first card you'll see that I have a DVI to HDMI cable. And connected to each of the mini DisplayPort connections is a single link active adapter that goes from mini DisplayPort to a single link DVI, so it will support up to 1920 by 1200. Second card has a DVI cable and two more of the single link active adapters. Now these adapters are not passive and they're also not the $130 dual link active adapters that take secondary auxiliary power from a USB connection. They run about $30 and it can often be found uh, with ATI branding for their iFinity solution on the PC side. 